Google Chrome has finally updated and it is now available for ARM-based Macs. Now, I've just quickly made a video here just showing you what it looks like and making sure that if you have an ARM-based Mac, you download the right version. So when you go to the Chrome website, you wanna click download Chrome and you wanna make sure you click Mac with Apple chip and that's gonna get you the version optimized for the M1 MacBook Pro. Now, in this video, I'm just gonna get straight into it like I usually do, and I'm gonna do some real world performance and testing and comparisons with Chrome. And in the first test, it's just gonna be very basic. So I'm gonna be just using Chrome. All other apps like Spotify, etc., are gonna be closed. And I'm just gonna be doing some heavy, heavy multitasking in Chrome with a lot of tabs open to mimic what a lot of people just do day to day, whether it's just browsing at home, researching for a university assignment or a school assignment, or if you're a developer at work, you've got to have tabs open, that kind of thing. Now I have been playing around with it after installing the latest version, and I have to say it definitely is a big improvement over the last version. So let's take a look a little bit closer. So just to start off, just some uh, housekeeping. So a lot of this is going to be dependent on what speed you're getting uh, from your ISP. So you can see I've done a speed test here. I'm getting eight milliseconds ping, 70 megabits per second download, and about 37 to 40 upload, which is pretty typical for Australia. Our internet is absolutely horrible. Um, so hopefully that's enough to do some pretty hardcore streaming. Now the first test we'll do is actually an 8K video. And this has been pretty highly requested from people. So I thought I'd make it one of the first things. And I think someone also requested I resize the window while playing. So we'll wait for these ads to finish and we'll get straight into it. So we'll change this to, so right now it's playing in the 4K. So let's change this now to 8K. Make it a little bit bigger. So you can see right off the bat, it is struggling a little bit. I did try to play this video before and it was stuttering quite badly. As you can see there, it's not really playing that smoothly. Now, I'm not sure if this loading is because of my internet or just because this Mac is struggling with the 8K. I honestly would say it's probably just the internet. So let me pause this and come back to you in a minute once it's had some time to buffer and preload. All right, so this has had a minute or two to do some buffering. Let's play and see what we get. Okay, that's just, that doesn't seem to be working. Let's try 4K. I mean, I don't think anyone really watches an 8K anyway. So we'll try 4K and this works fine. That was very quick. We'll refresh it just to see. Okay, that's super, super quick. Yeah, it's still in 4K. Now we'll do some window resizing. No issues there, seems pretty smooth. It's It's a little bit laggy, but Okay, the animation is smooth to minimize it and then maximize it from the tray, and that's fine as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is just a quick time lapse of me just using Google Chrome and doing some multitasking in separate tabs. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pull up Activity Monitor, and I'm gonna leave that on the left side of the screen so you can actually see that while I'm doing that. All right, so hopefully you can see that a little bit clearer now. Uh, do pay attention to the idle percentage here and also the CPU percentage of all the different Chrome tabs I have open over here. Throughout the time lapse, I will periodically switch to the memory so you can see how much RAM is being used up and I expect it to be quite a bit. Now, just to give you an idea of what I'll be doing, I'm gonna have open at least probably 20 to 25 tabs. I'll be watching videos, browsing Reddit. I'll be on Google Drive as well with some Google Docs open and then just other typical Reddit browsing, some Google browsing. Uh, but it's important to note that there'll be nothing else on the Mac except for Google Chrome. So it's just gonna be Google Chrome. In the next half of this video, I'll be doing the same thing, but with background apps running like Safari or Photoshop or Spotify or even some Excel documents. So without further ado, give me five to 10 minutes to do a bit of multitasking and I'll report back to you in a second.
Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes now, so I feel like it's time for me to report back what I've found. So uh, yeah, really good experience. Um, there was really no slowdowns. It was very quick, a lot quicker than the old version of Chrome that wasn't optimized. I really had no issues. And as you can see from the CPU percentage usage, um, obviously there is a lot of Google Chrome tabs open, um, but I've still got you know 70 to 80% of the CPU is just idle. Like it's it's barely using any of the CPU. And if we go into the RAM, of course the RAM is gonna get pretty hammered by Google Chrome, but I've still got a gig and a half left, which is pretty good. Now I think the system is just keeping that in reserve. Uh, and obviously if I'm not actively using these tabs up here, uh, Chrome is going to not suspend them, but allocate them less memory. So what we'll do as well is I'll just show you what I had open in the background. So I've got a lot of tabs here, probably more than 20. So we'll just go through here and close them down. So YouTube video and all of these YouTube videos, well, not all of them, but most of them have been playing this entire time. These ones aren't, these are just starting up now. This has been playing the entire time. Okay, Google Drive, and then we've got also some more Google Drive tabs. Some Reddit tabs, got quite a few Reddit tabs open. And we're going through to news articles, online shopping, more news articles, and there we go. So as you can see, like it did not struggle at all. It was a very smooth experience. So what we'll do now is we'll move on to the more multitasking part of this video where I'm going to have things open in the background and then I'm going to go on to and do some more multitasking on Google Chrome. So give me a second to set up all these background apps and I'll come straight back to you. Now that we've got a few background apps going, you can immediately see in the memory tab of Activity Monitor, we're already using almost five gigabytes of the memory just with these background apps. And if we go into the CPU tab, we can see we've still got about 90% idle. Now to give you an idea of what I've got running in the background, I have Photoshop open, which I'll be using. I have Activity Monitor. I have Spotify streaming. I've got a few Excel spreadsheets open and these are quite large. So they're about 40 to 45 megabytes per spreadsheet and I have two or three of them open and then I'll have two or three separate instances of Microsoft Word running. I'll also have uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud up here running, although that doesn't really use much performance, but it's just something else in the background. And this is completely without Chrome running. You can see it's actually not running at all. So if we now open Chrome up and we'll resize that, we are going to do pretty much exactly the same thing as the video before. So I'll report back to you in five to 10 minutes. Okay, after another few minutes of multitasking and web browsing in Chrome, uh, I have to say it's pretty much the exact same experience as I had before. Uh, no lag, very smooth, videos are super quick to play. There's no issues when you're minimizing apps and turning them back on, uh, it's very, very smooth. Now, if you've been keeping an eye on the CPU in the memory tab, again, we're using around 20% of the CPU all up, which leaves us about 80 85% idle uh, and the memory again, it's about six, six and a half gigabytes. Uh, it seems that Mac OS will leave at least a giga and a half free for you to use or for emergencies. And you can see Photoshop there is actually taking up quite a lot. So if we close down the activity monitor, what I'll do again is I'll show you just what I've had running in Chrome. So starting from left to right, we've got a lot of YouTube videos here that have been playing the entire time. Some are just on the home page, but most of these are actually playing 1080p footage. Some of them were actually 4K as well. 
So we'll close all of these down. Moving on to Google Drive, we had quite a lot of Google Drive folders open and files, including some spreadsheets. Uh, we had some online searching, some online shopping, more shopping, social media, uh, BBC News, a lot of Reddit tabs. And we've also had some more online shopping on Amazon. And then of course, we had all of those background apps running, Spotify, streaming music, Photoshop, Excel and Word. So that's pretty impressive. It seems that Google have definitely done a good job with the new version of Chrome. And I don't see any issues at all with using Chrome on this particular machine, especially if you prefer using Chrome over Safari or you have to because of work. I actually think it's gonna perform very, very well as we've just experienced. So apart from that, we're gonna leave it there for this video. Please leave them below. Apart from that, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.